everyone, Zabby here today with another Zabby Rocks. Today we're trying out a couple new things. Uh, one, I have this new microphone. Let's see how that goes. Um, I'm giving it a test. It's a wireless lavier microphone. There's the box. It's just some two little pieces. I think I turned them both on. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. And the other thing we're going to do today is I'm going to make a wombat. Wombats, I don't know, are one of my favorite animals. I've never been to Australia. I've never seen one in real life, but they, they fascinate me. So a friend of mine got me this lovely gift of a wombat kit. Um, so that's what that little guy looks like. Here's a picture of him in real deal. Uh, so I'm going to put it together. I just thought maybe we should see how this works. It's called the UG Wombat. They have a long line of uh, different little animals and characters you can make. So that's what we're going to give a try. And one more thing. Watch this. Slow movement. I've got this great new t-shirt with Zabby Rock I got for Christmas. Super excited. Yay! Soon it'll be warm enough. And I won't have to have sleeves. Won't that be great? <laughs> Anywho. Um, so there you have it. New t-shirt, new microphone new toy to play with so here is the box it came in and i'm going to turn that screen down so you can see what's going on all right here we go everyone all right so i've already started because well i had to see what we were supposed to be doing and it comes in this little kit right here um, where we're, we're just going to snap out the pieces. They're um, not wood, but it's a nice heavy cardboard, uh, really well done, and they've been snapping out quite easily. And the instructions, though, as usual, are minimal, minimal, always so minimal. Here are your instructions on the back of that box. So it's pretty much just stack and glue, but things like where do you put that little peg? Where's it supposed to go? Oh, halfway through. Okay, so, you know, there's some couple of steps you have to kind of figure. Um, but, you know, we're bright. We got this. So, here we go. Halfway done. There he is on this side. Looking pretty darn cute. Here. Oh, yeah, wombat. See, there he goes. It's a nice look, isn't it? And you're just going to stack those together. All right, here we go on the other side. And they're all marked either L or um, R, right or left. And then the numbers are on them, right? So that was the first two we glued together were the left and the right number ones. And then you just build up from there. So I've already done the left and now we're on to the right. So here we go. That's number one. So now I'm just looking for number two. Happens to be right there. And they punch out pretty darn easy. Yeah, see? Nice. And then you're just going to line that up with that little, mm, I don't know, with the stacking line, the stacking bar. And it says on these we're supposed to put a little glue. It comes with glue. Cute little tube of glue. And then we're just going to put a little line of glue. I've just been putting a line right here. I'm sure you could put that anywhere you like, you know, just so it gets on there. And then number two goes on and then you're not gluing it to the post so that's good the first one is a little bit tougher to get on though for some reason but there we go there we are now we're on to r2 Duh. and then on to r3 so you know it would be good for any age that can that can count and has a little bit of patience to get these stacked on and popped out of the form without breaking them or ripping them so i think it'd be good for any age maybe six and up i'd say six and up and there's number three and then on the instructions when you get to number mm, three or four then you're going to put in an eyeball it, it gives you the little it gives you little prompts on the punch outs here like that one you got to be careful with because that's when his feet start. But see, right there, that means your eye is going to be going in. So we put this in. There's And then number three, there was a little hole right there. 
So I'm going to stop, find my eyeball. Came in this great little envelope. Just flap down, no big deal to open. I'm going to drop that eye in. So then I think number four will lock it in. That is how I read that in the secret coded message of no words. I hope everyone is doing well today. New Year's is almost here. Yay, New Year. Uh-oh, there goes his eye. Come back, little eye. Uh-oh, nothing like losing a dark thing on a dark table. Ah, there we go. So, but good enough. I'm just going to come back, pop that eye. Seven, eight. Number nine. One more to go. We're running out of space on our little grip bar. Nine. <clears throat> Give it a little squinch. All right, here comes number 10. And number 10 looks like it's only going to barely hook onto the post. Let's see how we do. Well, it's a little bit on there. Just a little tiny bit. Let me give that a good squish. There we go. And then number 11. This one was curious to me because it, it just had this shape and this drawing on it and I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do but I finally figured it out. We're just going to glue it on top and follow there's a little line on number 10. It's a little white line and then that's where we're going to glue on number 11. And one side's wood and one side's um, white so that's handy too so you know which side at all times you're supposed to be doing. Even though you would think it'd be obvious, but you know, I don't know, some days. Some days it's just nice to have a little more help. And then number 11 is a tiny piece, and they give you these two extra spare parts. Um, theirs have writing on them. I'm going to use the ones that say spare parts with no writing on them because, well, it's a good company and all, but I don't need to look at that when my wombat's all put together. And then there's the last piece that just fits right onto that little diagram that they had put on there with that white line. I want to smash it down, but every time I go to touch it, then it just moves. So I'm just trying my best here to not get antsy. All right. So look, guys. Here is my wombat. Isn't he super cute? Look, he got little ears going on. He's got his little claws. <laughs> They're really furry little guys. And that's where the babies would be, in the pouch in the back. Let's see how we did over here. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to put that back there. So that last piece is your toughest piece to get to stay in place. Because, well, it's not really on a guideline. But he is super cute. And then there's the poops. And it's the same idea again. You're going to take out letter B. And that's its guideline. And then we're just going to stack the poops on there. P1. Oh, uh, well, I don't know why we have a P1 and a P1. That's kind of curious. Let me see back to these other instructions for poop building. Uh, P1, P1. They go together, and then we build out again. Okay. I like that build out again. Oh, yeah, there's two of those. So we're just going to take these out. They get folded in half. And then... Here comes that little B part. It should hopefully fit through both. There we go. And then we're just gonna build up from there. But isn't that curious? They have square poop. I think it's the only animal that has a square poop. All right, let's put this together. Did they say to glue this? Uh, not particularly, okay. You could, they, we have lots of glue. I think it said maybe to glue this first one together, but we'll slide a little glue in there. There's the glue. Okay. 
just a titch of glue. And then we're going to stack up P2. I don't know what anybody else's bit of an animal is. But I'm sure that they have a kit in this brand line for you. And it's so far so good. It's pretty sturdy. It hasn't, you know, it's all fit together. <laughs> That's always good. And there's a P3. The instructions weren't too deep, but a lot of times instructions simply aren't too deep. But once you get going, it all makes sense. Oh yeah, here's the square poop. They really like to eat carrots. If they're out and they get a hold of a carrot, they're really happy about that. They eat a lot of grass. But they do have some preserves where they live, and those carrots are a hit, it seems. All right, P4. P4. Oh, here's a really bad joke for you. I'd hate to live on O Street because then I'd have to walk a block to P. R, R, R. Do I work with fifth graders? Yes, yes I do. Let's see, this one I seem to, my little stick is more gooped up than I'd like it to be. Push down, let's see, ah, there we go. Okay, now, anything else? Oh, there's five and five. All right, five, five. I'm gonna put some glue on this one because my stick is getting a little bit shorter. And I think that's it. I think we only have, oh no, there's six, but let's go ahead and give this a little glue. Not much, just a little. Okay, five. And then over here on this side, we'll go with some five. our square poop and then it says number six which is just a plain darker side so we don't have to look at the numbers go right inside the center give it a little depth and voila we now have one life size and this is a life size poop it says I could not want a life size poop <laughs> Oh, and square. Oh, their insides must be funny. All right, everyone, and there we have it. One life-size wombat poop. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would give these uh, group a thumbs up for their product. Here, once again, product name. All right. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you can find an animal to create. All right. Give me a like and subscribe, please. See you soon.